Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to another video in our series of converting our patio to a three-season sunroom or multi-purpose room. And in this video, it actually has been about one or two months since we did our last video, and that's because we've been waiting on this. Today we're going to be installing the 70 inch by 80 inch uh, white door, as you can see, sliding door, to into our uh, sunroom. And we've been waiting on this door for about three months, which is why we haven't been doing a new video. We've also been waiting on the windows for uh, who knows how long. We've actually been waiting on the windows longer than we've been waiting on the door. But we got this from Lowe's and it's finally here. It is super heavy and that's why we have Uncle Lon here today to help us out. Right now we're going to put it down. We're going to take it out of its uh, box and we'll go from there. All right, so let's slice uh, open. so that they can put these handles on. And also, because these wooden frames are protecting fins that go around the frame of the door. And those those fins allow us to uh, nail the door in. As you can see, they have holes in them so that we can insert the nails. And next step is we're going to take these wooden pieces out and we're going to try to fit it onto the door frame. All right, so there's a couple of screws that we need to uh, undo because it's carrying this wood to the frame. So there's one here. Take that out. Okay. One here. And then one down here. problematic because the entire frame is resting on this uh, wood but hopefully it doesn't cause any problems all right I'm gonna do undo the last one I'm glad so get ready you ready almost done. It's been two or three hours since we recorded the last clip and that's because we've been trying to figure out this door. Uh, which I gotta say is probably very poorly designed um, because what we needed to make sure was that we wanted the door to open so that we could access it through the middle and not the left side. But instead of having it so that the doors could just slide so that you could enter it through the middle, you have to flip the entire frame over so that this, this frame, this door, which is attached to the frame, is on this side. So after you flip over the entire thing, you don't just flip it over, you also have to take off these, these uh, this metal strip and also this J channel strip. I mean this uh, strip that goes on the bottom for the water. You, have to, you also have to take those out. They used to be on the top, now they're on the bottom. You have to flip that around. You also have to flip around the lock on the door. And then lastly, you have to put the rollers that used to be on the top of the door on the bottom. And this all gets confusing because you have to flip over the entire frame. And you also have to do this before installation because when you install the frame, you can't, you can't unscrew uh, the rest of them. So we spent three hours figuring this out when they probably should have designed it so that you could probably, you could slide the doors and then lock them that way because that is just way easier than flipping over the entire frame. It's not very intuitive. But now all we have left to do is put in the handle and hopefully uh, everything works out. But so far, everything worked out great. And it was a team, it was a combination of efforts by my, my mom, my dad, me, and Uncle Lon. And Uncle Lon, just thank you so much for helping us. No problem. Like, no like, problem, I'm here to help. That was, that was tough. Yep, so we, so we finally we figured it out and we get it done. And we got, we got it that you here. Yep, no problem. I don't think we could have solved this without your help, right? I'm here to do the heavy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're a strong guy. 
Thank you, sir. Yes. Okay. And then what's next? I was going to install the handle, and then we're done. Then my oh. mom can see me working out. With the handle? I see. All oh, right. It's in the door. So, we're finally done. Now we installed the handle, as you can see. That took us about another 30 minutes to an hour. And we ended up drilling new holes for the lock. Um, so yes, poorly, I would agree it's poorly designed. Uh, this entire process was just really dumb. Uh, after this, all we have to do is we need to nail the rest of the nails to secure this door frame. And then after that, we're gonna put uh, tape in order to seal off the door. And after that, we should be finally finished with this, uh, this door. And we took about like five hours was it to install this door. Probably you guys will take uh, less time. Uh, I think we took so long because we weren't sure how to flip this over. But in the end, Galan helped us out, my mom helped us out, my Thank dad you. helped. No problem. Mm -hmm. And it was all a team effort. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. No problem, anytime. Okay, so I'm Ayman. I'm Uncle Lan. And thanks for watching. Today we installed the door, or the sliding door, into our three season sunroom. And really now it's starting to look like an actual like room. Before it had this the blue tarp over it, and that really looked like like when you saw it, you're like, what the heck is this? And now it actually looks like a room, an extension of the house. So now Everything looks good. I'm Ayman, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And look at other videos on I'm Ayman, especially the videos in this series of converting our patio to a three season sunroom. And me and Uncle Juan will see you there. And in the past, Zami will also see you there, but now he's at MIT. But for now, I'm Ayman, and signing out. Thank you. Next time, Uncle Juan.